And I think you're going to see, and we've already seen so far, uh, the president-elect uh, conduct himself in that fashion and the vice president-elect. And by the way, isn't it nice to finally have not only a woman, but a woman of Indian background uh, as the first vice president of the United States? Yes. So um, I think we're all very proud of that. Definitely. And, and then that's going to actually bring me to my next, I'm going to actually raise an international issue with you, Congressman Costa, because a lot of our family members, you know, we have a connection, you know, with India. And a lot of us, we have a connection with farming because a lot of our family members or, or even the, the, the families that have, that have moved to the States, we, have a, we, have, we all have farming background. So right now there is, first of all, I do want to recognize you. Uh, you were recognized on the stage in front of millions of Indians that uh, Congressman Costa has spoken uh, for democracy. Congressman Costa has spoken for human rights. So your name was recognized by the, by the farm unions. I mean, in front of millions and millions of, of, of Indians uh, worldwide and also in New Delhi. Uh, so Congressman Costa, have you been talking, I know you have been following this issue of, uh, this is the biggest uh, protest, a uh, peaceful protest happening in India uh, and, and right now, uh, New Delhi or state ca Indian capital is pretty much, there are farmers all over the, like all over the borders from all over India. So what are your thoughts on that? Well, <clears throat> the uh, actions taken by the Indian government, I think has brought in great concern uh, by the Indian people. I mean, let's remember, it's only been in the last uh, three or four decades yeah. that uh, India has been able to uh, increase their agricultural production uh, so that uh, they are able to, to ensure that they have food security. Um, and as I remind people, uh, you talk about all of our uh, agricultural communities in our valley. I mean, I have an agricultural background. I, my farming is my primary source of income. Uh, immigrant families like your family, like all of the Sikh uh, Indian uh, families, but the Portuguese and the Armenians and the Italians, we, we, our valley is very fortunate to have generations of immigrants that have come from all over the world. And one of the reasons they settled in the valley, going back to the first Sikh uh, settlement of, in Stockton, where the, you had the first um, uh, Indian temple, um, was um, based on farming, on agriculture. Yeah. Um, and um, so we know that food, whether it's in the United States or whether it's in India, is a national security issue. Yes. And the changes that have been proposed by the Indian government uh, have brought great concern uh, to not only um, um, Indian uh, farmers in the United States and other immigrants uh, here in this area, but the Indian caucus. And uh, when I listened to uh, constituents of mine who were um, talking from uh, of their family members in Punjab and in other states within India, uh, in their villages where they see a, a, a change that they think could significantly uh, adversely impact uh, Indian farmers, um, then I wanted to understand the, the, the issue better. And uh, I was one of six members of the Indian caucus that wrote a letter uh, to Prime Minister Modi yes. uh, with uh, last, uh, oh, it's two weeks ago, I think I spoke with the Indian ambassador here at the United States. He talked about uh, the letter that I and my colleagues, Senator uh, or Congressman John Garamendi yes. and, and other uh, of my colleagues signed that this is a, he understood it was a controversial policy and that the demonstrations that are taking place in the capital of India and Delhi uh, are among the largest peaceful protests that have occurred in recent history. Yes. Uh, and that there have been negotiations uh, uh, attempted to try to reach a compromise. My understanding is, is that that compromise has not been reached at this time. But uh, I encourage the Indian ambassador to look at that letter in a positive way. Yes. And that, uh, that they uh, attempt to see what they could do 
to reach a compromise that I think would be in the interests of not only maintaining a strong, stable agricultural base within India to provide food for its people, but also to ensure that uh, these farmers are treated properly. Yes. Yeah, and Congressman Costa, in, in your letter, I, and I was very thankful uh, when I, when actually I read your letter, you know, on the radio, I also read it online. I also shared that letter, you know, with the, with the, with the Indian farm leaders and uh, a lot of people that say, you know, America always stands up for democracy and America will always stand up for peaceful demonstration for humanity. Uh, and, and 